So we're making pretty good progress with our Plenty website over here, the Big Spring website. And I think it's a good place to actually pause for a minute and start saving some of our changes. So we're going to use Git in order to track our history of our code. And we're going to push it to a repository on GitHub just to have a separate remote, just in case anything happens with a local computer and we can't recover the actual website. We can always go to the backup on GitHub and pull things down. So over here, I have my profile open on GitHub.com. And I'm actually part of an organization that I created here called Plenty Themes. If I click into that, you'll see that there actually isn't any themes yet. So I'm going to use this opportunity to create the first repository for our first Plenty theme. And then I'll save the work that we've done on the Big Spring website over to this repository. So I'll start by creating a new repository. And I'll call this Big Spring. I believe that's the name that we're using here. Yeah, Big Spring. OK, and then we'll come down here and We'll make this a public repository so everybody can see it. I'll add a readme later, but for now, I'm just going to create the repository. And you can see right now, it just gives you some instructions about how to save your work. So there's no code in this repository yet, but it gives a little bit of instruction about pushing an existing repository. So I'm going to come back over here to our project, and I'll just open up a new terminal here. And you can see that there's no changes being tracked. So Fish would tell us if there was changes. That's because we actually don't even have a Git repository initialized at all here. So I can start by doing Git init, and now initialize a repository in our Git project here. So when I click that, you see now that we have this little X here that says that there are some changes that aren't being tracked by Git. So if I were to do a Git status, you'll see all the files that we've been working on. So this is basically the plenty starter, starter code over here. And I would just track this code. And the way I'd add it to my index is do a git add, and I can say hyphen capital A. That'll add everything to my index. If I show a status, you can see that all these files have been added to the index. And then I can commit them to our history by doing a git commit. And I'll just call this initial commit. So it's the first commit of our project. And typically, I would probably break this into smaller chunks to have more commits in our history. And that will allow us to go back to different points in our specific history. But for now, we'll start here because we haven't done anything before. And at this point, we're ready to push this code up to the GitHub repository we just created. So let me take a look at that real quick. So this is how we add to a, we add this command to our existing repository. Basically, we add a remote. So the remote is a way to push to this remote GitHub site. And then we add an, something called origin. And the origin refers to this URL for our remote here. So we can add different remotes. So we could add something like upstream if we had an upstream repository. Right now, we're only having one separate repository. So we'll just use git remote add origin. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm adding that there. And then GitHub's changed their default branch. They used to use a, a default branch called master. We now use a default branch called main. So this is basically uh, the second command here changes your main branch from master to main. So we'll do that real quick. We'll copy this and we'll change it over to branch main. And so now our all our working code is over here on the main branch. And then we'll just use that to push our main branch up to GitHub here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it. So we're doing a push upstream to uh, origin main. And then from here on out, when we want to do git pushes, we can actually simply write git push. And so let me add this command, run this. And I'll come back over here. And if I refresh this page now, you'll see our code here. So this is all the code that we've been working on. And now we can use this as a working history of uh, our project. And as we do new code changes, we can commit those and push them up here so we have those as well.